Second 7 is an immersive 3D fighting game that tests a player's reflex, skill, and mental prowess within the environmental battlefield of gameplay. Now one of the most important things about Tekken is movement, and it's a very basic skill, but it can also be one of the hardest things to master in the game. Now you'll notice there's var various forms of movement, whether it's just backdashing, sidestepping, sidewalking. You have to use this movement to actually gain an advantage in the match and really prevent your opponent from overwhelming you. You'll notice here that I'm just showing some of the basic movement that you can use with Kazuya and how you'll be able to react to that in gameplay. Tekken 7 allows you to move around the playing field seamlessly, so whether you're sidestepping to evade, dashing forward to advance, or holding back to defend, the controls in Tekken allow you to really immerse yourself within the virtual space in the fight. And it's using this movement with the actual moves from your move list that really helps create the flow of the overall fight. Now you'll notice here that some characters have stances and they also have different options from the stances. So. Certain characters like Huarong or Xiao Yu will have certain movement stances such as right foot forward, right flamingo, and that really has a different moveset within those stances. But what you have to remember is, once you're in these stances, you don't have access to your natural move list. Aside from that, other characters also have natural movement stances as well, such as the sway back, which you see from Paul and Nina here, and they also have this quarter circle forward motion, which adds to their overall flair and their individuality. So it's important as you learn your characters within Tekken that you kind of learn all the different options. Now here's a quick example of how important movement is. You see this option with Kazuya, this poke string. You're able to sidestep it with Akuma because you know it's not a tracking move. Because of that, you can create an opportunity and land a huge juggle and overwhelm your opponent. Now, using the same kind of poke strategy here, Kazuya is now going for a tracking move, and Akuma is going to have to adjust because he can no longer sidestep the tracking move. But because of that, if you do have the knowledge and you're able to punish, you can still turn the tide to the battle. So there, there is movement, there's also not moving. You have to know both times. Now, one of the things you got to remember as well is movement is so important, especially against certain characters like Akuma who has a fireball. Knowing how to move and how to kind of evade his fireball game is important. So as you practice Tekken 7, it's important that you learn the basics for every character and learning how to move around the playfield. And we look forward to showing you more of this from the community as Tekken 7 comes out.